This is one of the anchor points for my shade structure. Um, that looks like one of my welds too. <laughs> I hadn't welded in almost 30 years when I did that, but a uh, guy in Oakland invented a way to mount. Um, this is the same as one inch EMT electrical conduit, but it's a much lighter version, which actually works better for this application. And it's from our buddies in China. So what you do is you take a 3 8 nut, the very inner part here, and you weld it to here after you've drilled a hole in it, obviously. And then you run a lock nut, a jam nut, and a bolt in there. And it pins itself against rebar. Now this is two feet of rebar, and only this much is sticking up and the rest is in the ground. Now I'm using this one as an example because either the screw came slightly loose and it slid up uh, above the ground, or it pulled it out of the ground. I doubt it pulled it out of the ground because I've never had that happen ever before. And it's been sitting like this. This thing's been here almost 20 months, as opposed to Burning Man, um, you know, a week or two weeks. And uh, it works like a charm. This is an unbelievably cheap and easy way to make a shade structure hold up in high wind. It's unbelievable. I love this thing. Um, you can see there's a bunch of them. Uh, all around the trailer. I haven't had to use the, the, the tarp over it because I, I repaired the roof. We redid the roof brand new on the trailer and so it's watertight now. We put a whole new membrane on it and all new plywood. So half inch plywood. So anyway this thing is stiff as a board. I'm probably going to tear it out of the ground sometime here because it's just unnecessary and kind of in the way. Um, I see a couple screws in a bit. I need to probably Stuff will wash and blow its way down under one of your tires if you don't pick it up. So, yeah, those look like they were out of the trailer when we were working on it. Anyway, most of them look just like this. Pounded flush to the ground, and it just sits there. Absolutely phenomenal. I love it. And then, one of those screws, that's where the Chinese part is not so good came loose and this thing blew back over itself and bent it all to hell but I just cranked it back and put it back together and there it sits so I used the tarp on here for probably a year total which is way longer than it was designed for but it works like a charm so anyway just something I show you I call it burning man technology which is precisely how I designed the whole solar rack was using Burning Man technology, which means it holds up under high wind and it's portable. You can assemble it and disassemble it quickly. Anyway, that's it for now. See you bye.